once you have collected the data and stored the data and your file name is written on the bottom of the eval3 screen so it says plate 3 and in the storage screen you can adjust and change the file names so once you have done that and hit the store button and, and it says that save the file then what you're going to do you're going to take the usb drive from the eval3 so your data is stored here so you're going to be taking them off and you'll be plugging into your computer or laptop to extract the data so this is the csv file or excel data file so the usb is plugged into a computer so i open the data file so the data file is saved exactly as the well plate so this is the 24 well plate data and the data is shown exactly like the well plate and on the top of the data file when you open the file you see the date stamped and you see the time stamped and what is the well plate is used and you will see what is the mode is used that is resistance here what is the units selected it could be ohms or kilo ohms so ohms is selected and the resistance scale is selected as auto so there are different scale that is 10k 50k or 100k ohms range so the auto automatically selects the range based on the sample value so here auto range is selected and again the data are selected exactly as well plate and it saves the data as an excel or csv file so that it can be easily plotted or created graphs from those data